morning. Good morning. Why did you do this? Because <laughs> the sun is shining today. <laughs> he woke. He just woke up. He got up in the middle of the night. Couldn't go back to sleep. And now he just woke up. I'm not ready for this world. <laughs> I'm not ready for this day. <laughs> Get some good news today. Yeah, it's been like a whole week <laughs> since of anything. So it's been cloudy and rainy. I took zero, so. So. All right, we're on trail. It's 8.30. We had another chill morning. Um, yeah, today we're gonna climb Apple Orchard. Yay. We get to see the guillotine. And I'm excited because it's blue skies today and the sun is out. And I feel like it's been a minute since we've been on trail with there being the sun shining on us and blue skies because the day we went to Daleville, I think that day was sunny and then turned to like rain and it was sunny when we were in Daleville. So, but when we got back on trail, it was like cloudy, <laughs> thunderstorms, raining. So I think like literally being on trail with this kind of weather, like I feel like I, it's been it's been a minute and I'm excited that, you know, I get to see the sun and it feels really good. Um, just on the, on the uphills, I've been taking like shorter steps and then trying not to like be on my toes. First view of today. This, uh, this bird identification app is pretty killer, I must say. It's from uh, Cornell. Their lab of ornithology, I guess, developed some kind of app, which is basically Shazam for birds, which is quite nice. Downloaded the guide for North America. <clears throat> and the, uh, the bird I saw this morning, it was something like, it tried to identify it based on the sound. Couldn't really get a good look at the colors, but it gave me two options. Eastern Phoebe and something like Gray Catbird. And definitely the one I saw just now was an Eastern Tally, or however you say it. I don't know what that one is chirping over there, but hey, that might be the uh, whatever catbird. Yeah, there's a piece of trash here. Yeah, so having pretty fun with the birds, you know, as of late. That's what's been keeping my interest on trail. So uh, definitely recommend that app. Sorry for the heavy breathing. We're going uphill to uh, Apple Orchard Mountain right now. Whew. And from that Forest Service road down below, just like in a thousand foot climb over like, I don't know, 1.2, 1.3. So pretty long, sustained uphill. I'm huffing and puffing. Well, I think we're at the top of Apple Orchard. And there's this like tower station sort of thing on the top. Hmm. 
I wonder how close we can get to it. Looks like a soccer ball. Yeah, right. There's a pattern on it. <laughs> oh, it does. Like, you see? Like yeah, it does look like a soccer ball. <laughs> Here are the views from up here. We're actually above 4,000 feet right now. And yes, so everything is below us. Pretty cool. Here's on the other side. Yep, there it is, Apple Orchard. Elevation is 4,225 feet. And it's on the AT. We are approaching the guillotine. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Wedged perfectly in between these two rocks. <laughs> Look at that. Right? <laughs> is it my lucky day? Does the rock fall on Katie? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Just kidding. Very excited. Man, how did that happen? Like, um, luck. Right? <laughs> Just, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. That is really cool, actually. That is. What is this? Thunder Ridge Lookout? Yeah, Thunder Hill. Thunder Hill? Something. That's quite nice. Whoa. Take my hat off because it's probably going to blow away. But yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow. That is quite nice. So green. So green. And there's kind of like orange yellow. <laughs> there are these like bugs you know, crickets like everywhere Let's see if I can this is one of them I'm gonna zoom in on them but it sounds like something's falling from the sky I'm just hitting all these dry leaves but I think it's just these bugs just jumping around I don't know where they are but they're just everywhere it's been a minute Katie Squiggle trees. trees. We're back. We're here. Back in the tunnel. Back in the tunnel. <laughs> Welcome back. No, it flew away. Wait, there it is. Where is he? There he is. That little tiny guy. Back at uh, Petite Road Gap, or Petite's Road Gap. Got a little trail magic from a guy named uh, Onesimus, which he said was a biblical reference to a slave or something like that. Anyway, he had a cool camper van that was all painted with AT stuff. And uh, yeah. It was pretty cool. He gave us some ice cream sandwiches and that was amazing on this hot day. So shout out to that guy for the trail magic. It was uh, very welcome on this very warm sunny day. Man, this rock is so cool. Look at all these, these veins, these stripes here. It's kind of like this one I just picked up. That's really awesome. Rolling up to camp, and oh man, it looks like a really nice grassy meadow. That's wonderful.
we're cold again. <laughs> All relative though, because I feel like, imagine how like legitimately cold we were in the beginning of the hike. So this isn't like the same kind of cold, but we are cold. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, I was looking at the, uh, apparently the uh, prime minister of Sri Lanka resigned. That's big news. I have a friend that lives there, so it's yeah. kind of a big deal right now yeah. with the pro protests and everything. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Real life it's stuff. Little, it's a little chilly. Yeah. And suddenly, <laughs> it's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, life ain't so bad. <laughs> it's a little chilly. Prime Minister of the. Meanwhile, the entire country is like burning. Yeah. That's bad. It's, it's been bad. There. Yeah. Yeah. Our, uh, our night ended here at this nice campsite. Very pleasant. Yeah. I was able to wash a couple of my dirty items in the, in the creek and uh, had a fire. Yeah, had a little fire. Talked to some friends. Chilled. But it was a fun time. It was nice. And we're all hyped for unlimited spaghetti tomorrow. Hell yeah. In town. Yeah. I'm ready. So pretty much the whole crew that's at this camp is going to be at unlimited spaghetti tomorrow. At Scotto's in Glasgow. Yeah. So, yeah. You'll see that in the next episode. <laughs> I'm sure. Well. We must sleep so it can be tomorrow <laughs> where we can have a lemon spaghetti yeah. and clean laundry. Anyways, peace. Guys, the whippoorwill is going nuts. <laughs> it's just, it just keeps going and it's so close. <laughs> the beat dropped. <laughs> the beat dropped. The beat dropped. No, dead serious. That was definitely oinking. That was definitely a wild pig. <laughs> oh my god, you're in it. No, not really. He'll just go away, I think. Hopefully they don't grab your clothes. Is this all hanging? Sorry. They can have them. <laughs>